funny that uh, uh, when they are told to start up, mm. then they start up within their own, their bosses. Eh? A, business, uh, a, business. <laughs> a business within a business. Ending up challenging their, <laughs> their monsters, which is not right. You understand? It's like this. What do I be your muti? Ne gumere ram echintu ntu echira lala. Ne sija ne sishimere ram boeshte. So some people are like that. When they are told to start up, to jump start, or to kick start themselves and and gain what we call the mind sight. So they want to start up within them, within the very people who have helped them to wake up. So I got a tani kire mugu ndo zakanti zemorugan. That is more common in Uganda. You know, the Uganda people are like that. For them, when a Muganda, a Muganda person assists, uh, assists one Muganda, first listen, when a Muganda assists a Muganda brother, eh? a Muganda from the village, Chana Mukaka, and brought to Kampala, they all sleep on the ground. This brother begins by, you know, not even knowing he, uh, how to cross the road. But because you are taking him to your shop every day, he learns how to transact in Ishiko. This boy is very stupid. When he wants to, 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 to be independent and gain, gain uh, that kind of mindset, you know, which is growth, this brother, Chakola, Mubaganda, Bubamu Gamanti, now when I turn to Kukubi and go, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Creating competition. When they, they, they want to start, they got turned into a mochi, mumune. Chilinga kabo no igiza matamani we motoka, right? No jumu igiza vuto ba vuga ba vuga ba vuga. No muga kat symbol. Na gena j symbol ya eda muri vans na tome ra gwe na kuta. Ne bagamba mwa ana chitabo yadi amu igiza motoka. Ati amu tome de namu kozeshi na muda. Oba yaji symbol de muma so ne symbol ne jaja ne tome ra gwe. Bagamba chiba jito gama a symbol de amu gwe. Kati bo abaganda ba ino gwe muzi. Umuyamba, tuina nuru gamba guo nye gire ya likolechi. Omuntu omulese, ate ayagala wama lukuzibuka masu, azibukira mugwe. Gwe kwa yagalo sanya au gofirwe ya gede wichi. Eitha gula o business wali, wabana atanika ya kabina kefana nyiriza kaku. Nyinga guwa mzibu damachi, wamuta andika kumuyamba, na yena ina agila na gula wichi kompiti inga chokola, alwa nisaka taleko, akamaleo, guo sigare kuchi. So such a, a, a thing is not right. It's not right. The kickstart we are talking about is you transiting yourself from the fixed mindset, well and good, you are not among uh, the people who are, not, who are in the mindset that is fixed. A flexible mind is that that is active, inquisitive, enthusiastic, challenging, not being challenged. You know, when you find yourself having problems in taking decisions, facing problems at work, you know, your boss is always the one to tell you what to do instead of you, you know, thinking faster to act accordingly, having the a little element, that little element of mind sight. Because mind sight is to, 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 to push yourself before you're being pushed, to do something before you're being told, before even being told that it is necessary. You, you know it in your mind that it is necessary. So that mind sight, the mind sight in you makes you have peace with the people. For instance, omuntu obo wangala na ye e waka. Nga amanyi bulichimu weshiraga, amanyi sera morira, nga abachara, betuwasa, Muchara wa kutegira, na maya ni kationo, kwa agira buwati, chino chibira wano, ya agira buwati, sawa wezi, tabagize, na kutegira. It doesn't become a battle, because automatically la jamanya chori. That person acquires a mindset about you, knowing exactly ahead of you what you may want, and he brings it. That creates peace. So if you also want to have that peace in mind, you learn to do self-push tendency, to do even before you are told. And that, that thing will teach you, by the way, many things. It will help you even when you want to start your own business. You will get creative in your own business. You're making your shop, your business looking, you know, standard because you are multi-purpose. 
But a person who has a fixed mindset will always be fixed. Known to think beyond the out of the box. Will be waiting to be told. And even when he wants to start, because he cannot, he cannot tilt, he cannot move anywhere, he will kickstart himself within you and he spoils the whole what? System. Mugwe majoku yu gumira. Bweba business yonga wa muwa molimo ndiye manager. Osangenga alimu kuisa o sente ya inengiri jachanga. Engambo ni zifuke ngambo ya tulugu nyaba kozi kakananga. Ah, business yonga wajiyode. Obanga wajigude kumisango. Akula kuono na. Yezu ulira mugwe. Naga na wakulishi. Akusanyewo. It is very bad. It is heartless. It is actually very disrespectful to learn something from someone and then you want to demolish that person, to finish that person. He's someone to respect whatsoever. You don't need to go back and turn against or even spoil or destroy. People in Uganda do that. They don't care. Tumuntu ampa de ekubo. Bamalo Kurimpa. Stake it to Kurisanya, Kwanga, China, because I am Babashi. Abala. Watching those anti in the chess of the Kukanya and Aja Chikozesa, Okomono, Ovans, Vendabanga, Sijaka to Kurevoye, take it to a corner, a charcoal by either out competing it or messing it up. People do that. You have seen the shallow minded people, shallow and narrow. They have gone even on social media. To spoil people's businesses. You understand? Because they have failed to adapt themselves, to, to adjust themselves to these businesses or these pro programs. So they end up wanting to act uh, a, a, a malice game. Talking ill against someone's uh, mindset. Some people have a future that they have a vision and they have seen. They have already started the road. And then you, you, you all, all along, all, all of a sudden, you want to come out and obstruct them. Some people who are patient, who know what, what mindset is, will not give you a chance. Actually, some ignore you. They keep quiet because they know, they see far. They only don't want your obstruction. And when they see you obstructing, they keep moving the neck, they move their face, the eyes, until they keep focused on what they saw. These are the people who have not shut down their organizations, such as Migrant Workers Voice. These are the people who have not shut down their businesses, even though, no matter the talks, even though people talk, the people keep, they keep focused. These are the people who have not run away out of houses because boss has looked at me, boss and be a cabina, boss, you know, they haven't. They keep focused at the end of the, the contract where they see make themselves making around 25 millions. They say, no, even if he complains, there is still more months. Even if I lose one, I'll earn more. If I get patient here, more money is coming. You understand? Others even look beyond. They want to gain the second contract. They say, I still want to work for this family. I want to stay in Saudi Arabia. I don't care whether they abuse me now. I won't leave this boss because once I leave this boss and I mess up, even my return to Saudi Arabia becomes a mess. So I need to maintain my boss. Those are the envisioned people. They have a mind sight. They have a sight. They don't have a set. They have a sight. They see far. That, you know, even if they abuse me, even if we don't have money to run the voice, but one day, one time, it is the voice. Can you stop the voice? It is the voice. It will remain. Even if you, whether your children die or you produce more, they will one day become workers who will need a voice. So the voice is there. So whoever is pro preparing the voice, he's seeing far. He's not, he's not looking at you, the blogger, who is talking nonsense. He's looking at some, the future of where the voice is now, the voice and the big voice in the country. So is that person seeing small? So seeing big is like that. To have a sight, shift from the mindset, just a mere mindset. That's mediocre. It's mediocre. 
to keep with just it's only the workers whom we always encourage to keep the mindset change to have a growth mindset but a person who is not who is self-employed a person who is self um self-made self-made people always fry on their own they see far like the egos they fly high they know when to socialize they never eat with the, the weaver birds or oh, the, 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 these parrots they are the egos so if I, I say or if I, if I say the Kayondes are the egos of the workers rights would you reject that because they know what they're talking about. They don't argue like a chip, 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 chick, chaka, chick, chaka, chick, chaka, parrots. You understand? They see far. They eat you sub. I mean, they make, uh, they add you substance. They add you policy. They don't go into Oman, Afiuna, Afiri, they were no kakatu, and Afu, Afu, yes, more others will die. Will it solve? Will you stop the death? You cannot. Rather, they add your policy. Which policy is there to socially protect these workers? You understand? Social security. So when Kayonde talk about social security, they will say, now this person is talking about anything. Because Emiya Kadama, who is a job seeker, will not know that. Emiya Kadama, who is in a fixed mindset, will not see that. Even that one who has a gross mindset will feel like I'm sabotaging his position to, to, to get raised, to continue going to Saudi Arabia. You understand? Because the one with a gross mindset will come out and say, now nah, when the Mr. Kayonde is talking too much, you see, they will stop us from going to Saudi Arabia, and yet we still, for us, we still want to go there and work. But what Kayonde is communicating actually saves nine, saves you in time. Because if more others continue to die and the ban comes in place, you will also not go. So is is in other words looking for a way, suggesting for a policy that can protect you even when you are there or even the life after you return. Even your children. You get my point. So it's about mind sight. For people who have mindset, by the way, they may not have thought about what I'm talking right now. That's about mindset. But they keep, they're always pushed to keep there, to keep there, to keep there. You understand? They don't know even what is pushing them to be there. But you find them by default, always alongside, alongside, available. These are the people we have ended up marrying in life. Because, Eva, Abela, Nawe, Ahimidina, Nawe, Takule, Kerela. We eventually fall in love with such people. They never have conditions. When you look at the workers, the workers, even themselves, she's a very patient girl. You find that this boss now begins treating this girl very good. And eventually, now I'm promising her, eventually this worker becomes almost uh, uh, that family's member. It's because of the patience people lay. And these achievements don't come out of the blue. They come alongside patience, determination, and the mindset. Be ready to think out of the box, not to remain static. If you are to mean it, you must mean it. If it is to rain, it rains. And you must agree it will rain whatsoever, no matter what. You get it? You must agree that it will rain, whether it is shine, shining, it will shine. But you don't run away. How many of the migrant workers have run away? They have run away. They have given up, even when it's not necessary. And they end up in a worse situation <laughs> than expected. But simply because they want to satisfy their feelings. They want to feel like, I want to be relieved. I want to get out of here. And then they are given a way to get out of there. After getting out of there, they have no one now to, you know, to, to look to. You get my point? So we really find it uh, uh, 
a bit, uh, we, me, I don't lie in the mindset people. I teach mindset, but I left that level. I'm in another zone. Mindset. I left there. I escaped the cave. I'm no longer there. It is those who are still in the cave that haven't seen what is happening outside that are not yet exposed. But for me who has seen it, I have seen it, I've been out, I know the real life. I talk about reality. What is real and not ideal. In your perspective, you may say, you, you would wish, I wish, I wish to be, I am planning also to be. That is all ideal, but the practicum of it, have you gone there to fetch it? In Uganda, they say, You are dreaming of uh, too much fish every day, eating fish, but have you ever even visited where they fish it? You must be completely detached. You don't wake up out of the blue after me reigniting you to wake up and you say, now, I have now understood. Now, you start now. There are some people who stupidly overreact when we give them uh, such um, sessions of motivation. They overreact. She begins in you. Hey, eventually you find she's ordering you. She's telling, because you have already given her away, she has opened up and then she wants now to fall in you. I mean, I've seen girls who fall in love with their pastors because the pastor has talked about the topic of marriage. Mm -hmm. The following day, she's saying, Pastor Bugembe, Pastor... Eh? They keep falling in love with their pastors. The pastor does not mean that you, you, you... Because he's talking about marriage, does not mean that he wants to marry you. He's just telling you to follow the right steps to get a safer marriage. That does not make him a best man to marry you. It happens, even in the work, work settings like this one. You bring someone in, and this person becomes a kainja. She's always aching. She's bringing new, new things. She's bringing new rules. She's bringing new rules. She's bringing new rules. She's bringing new rules. She's bringing new Bonanda was an uncle who came to see the Jomus Omukazi at Fuki Domichi. Nang about what assignment in Tononio. Friendly. Actually, you don't, need to change, you don't need to change your ways. Because uh, the reason why you were appointed to be in that position was because of the way you have been behaving before. Therefore, you don't need to change. Oh, oh you innovate within, <laughs> within your friends. No, that's not right. It's not good innovation. Good innovation is when you, you, you innovate something that has never happened and it is, should be independent, not within someone. But creativity, okay, creativity can be there within the industry, within the setting, but it must not be excess. You don't go overzealous. Uh -huh. You don't begin changing things even you go beyond touching the, the toilet of your boss. Some people do that. Uh, yes. Somebody is given a position of being a chairman. The, the following day is coming to ask the boss, please, boss, give us here the accountability of you. You're asking your boss accountability. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Your boss has a vision. Your boss has a mind sight over this very organization. Therefore, for you being a chairman, you are not in, in, in position to do so. It should be someone above your boss. Actually, you don't tempt because then you are becoming a menace. You are irritating, you are trying to propose to submit an application for your dis uh, disqualification. Once your boss realizes you doing that, it is a direct ticket to hell of fire. Your job is in Rusuvo. The following day, you will start getting ashamed because of that mindset, when they tell you to be creative within your mindset, be creative, you don't go beyond. Like when we are keeping children home, 
Sometimes they know when we are going to have sex with their mothers. They, they, this boy or girl may be so attached to the mother, but sometimes they realize maybe dad is going to, to have something with my mother. So this boy will retract and not interfere. Why do you think they do so? Because they, they know in the mind where they must stop. They know their limits. Otherwise, for the love they have about their mother, they can easily even jump over the bedroom and say, open the door for us, we want mom. But at that time, they take it in mind, daddy, Arine, mommy, we don't disturb them. Let's go on. So, you don't apply. You know, in reality, there's what we, we, we learn at the university called the realism and ideal, or idealism. Idealism is what perhaps should be, but it may not happen practically. It's what anyone assumes, anyone would wish to have, but it doesn't come in reality. For instance, if you want the ideal or the ideology to happen, it must be aligned with the reality. For instance, this government has ideology, you know, of transforming, and their ideology is about um, what is the creation, you know, security. But how to achieve it? You may find during the due course of achieving this ideal, ideal thing eh, of Uganda being free that everyone is not, I mean, is not a beggar or everyone has a job, everyone is not, you know, that, uh, that assumption, eh, it, it is ideal that may not be achieved as you think. But the reality to achieve that costs us a lot. It costs this country even going through borrowing eh? monies from abroad, going through um, imposing huge taxes. These are the realities now. What does it cost you? That's the reality. You may dream to have a car, but what does it cost you to get this car? You dream driving it, assuming driving whatever, a big, nice car, but what does it cost you to get it? Some, it costs them to steal, steal the money, embezzle, to get that. So the reality is what we always emphasize, that teach yourself to live in the reality. Forget the ideal, the assumption of how it is. For instance, there's a man called Plato, the ideal state of Plato. Plato used to keep people in the cave, you know? People were tied up uh, in the cave as prisoners. And then this man had to lit fire. Now so Murido Maso Gabwe. Never was on Jigere, Gabi Wanise, Muchizi Mwansi Mumpuku, Never Siba, then never come Murido Eri Mumaso Gabwe. You understand? Omurido go nga aba aba said Jabanu Bebari Basibye. Nga Bebabu Tunulam and Wabu Nebari Kayo Omuyango. Abantu wano baba siwe babatu babatu nuzza nga ntibatu nulide mwuri yango wabula nga batu nulide mabega wa mwuri yango omwuri yango babu kubi ya mabega nga batu nulide kushi omwuri you understand omwuri lo kuli nga kukule ebisi ikilize hmm ebisi ikilize ebi ya abantu wana abaita o abantu abaita nga uku mpukuwe bati nga nomu sani enu guwaka ebisi ikilize ya bibi ya ita nga unga bita ambula kwe biti banabali mpuku kunje gere Bale ngeda nge bisikize kubidongu waku uoro zeze mpuku. Nge bisikize bibikula chiji bita ambula. Kati ono ya waku umila mpuku ya liya baga amba. Echi uchimula baba chita ambula echo. Gubaitua mtu. Mfula burunji. Gubaitua chi. Aba ntwe ma ebanga di mama la mpuku ya yunga tebala banga kuchi. Kwa iti wa mtu, a real person. Nga nomo sana tebagu manyi. Ba, omu kubo ya gila na yeta uru zako. Na niye kutula, na hafa kunjegele, na furuma empoko. Boya tuka wawwe, na sanga ya abantu, abatambula. Nga wali fiziko na abatu nulida, niye uunya. Nga tabula banku. Na labu umusana, na gamba, eh. Umusana nga sigula bangako. Boya daye liba ne, mpoko. Na haba gamba, banangi. Chino chemula ba wano. Uyusimu untu. Bisikilize. 
Pano nebamu wakanyo nebaga matu siri walilako. Tupa dewe banga lio nawano. Chino, chino chibatu gamba ye mtu. Ate godu gamba ye yo mtu omla lata lichino. That's being in the ideal. In other words, abasajja bano, yes, baba gamba te chifana nchibala bacha amontu. They believe they are lived with someone called the Omontu. But for them, they knew that Omontu was in the, a, 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 a picture form, in a, a, a shadow form, right? They knew. That's how they knew. And yet, in reality, that person was different. You get it? In reality, he was different. The day this person who went out of the cave, who escaped the cave, saw the real person and returned to tell them that what you are believing in is not right. Actually, the reality is different. These people neglected the reality. You understand? So, do you still want to believe that the people who are watching the shadows were right? But in the same way, were they not right to believe the shadows? Because they are not yet exposed, been exposed anywhere. Were they not right to say so? Do you want to say the person who went outside and saw the real human beings was wrong? Was he wrong? So who of the two do you side up? You say, who do you go with? The one who went out of the cave or the one who remained? The one who went out of that and saw the reality. Therefore, life is about like that. It's like that. It's about realism. That the real, the real practice of what you are assuming is different. The real practice of what you want to do, that good man you want to marry, comes after you undressing, your, even up to your small pant. Maybe this man will come. Comes after you going to accept to be engaged. Then you reach to, 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 to what? Comes when you accept to go out. Maybe you find your, your real man at the beach or somewhere in a working setting. That real thing you are dreaming comes after the practical walk out of the cave, out of that confined mindset. That what is the reality? What is the practice? What are we practicing? We are practicing to have, to go work in Saudi Arabia, right? But in reality, have we tried to realize what is pushing us to go to Saudi Arabia? The reality is different. One may say, Hans, in the are you sure? Even the other one, even the second one, the third one, are you sure? What is the reality in Uganda? There is a push factor that is pushing everyone to go there. So for a wise man, you will now know, eh, the reality is, even when I cross to the other side, I must be careful because I cannot keep myself in the ideal state that even after crossing to Saudi Arabia, I want to assume I can come back to Uganda and be better. That means I did not understand what is in Uganda. A person who understood the push factor, the reality that is in Uganda, will not be lied coming back home. Will keep the chance he, she has got. Will not even be fast to say, to, to make it on his order list or her list that I want to first go, go home. That will come last after a dispute or labor dispute is sorted. Because he knows in Uganda he cannot earn that much whatsoever. It is only those who are staying in the ideal state that still want to convince themselves that things are possible. Likewise, the Ugandans cannot change the Uganda to the Uganda they want if they do not come out of their houses. In many ways, I don't mean only going to streets, which is one of them, but I mean also going to the garden, working hard. You understand? All right, but how hard do you go there? How committed? You go there this season and the other season, the next season you are in Oman and in Saudi Arabia. Is your garden in Saudi Arabia? Is that consistency? So, there, is, there are many things we have to check ourselves. I hope I'm clear. Take the peace. Thank you.